My name is uh, Shatadar Labji, also um, known as Tulius on HWBot. Um, I'm from India and uh, I, I'm part of the OC India overclocking team. Um, well, I did commerce actually. It was, um, yeah, long story. I actually wanted to do computer science, but um, the cutoffs being what they are in universities in India, it's like a 96% to do computers, and I got a 94. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> that was that, yeah, and no, so I landed up doing commerce. But this was always something that, you know, had my interest ever since I was, what, maybe seven or eight. I got my first PC when I was eight. That would be nine, 1988, yeah. That was an XT, PC XT. And from ever since then on, I've just been kind of hooked to computers. I started building my own PCs at the age of 13 or 14 maybe. That's when, yeah, I started getting parts from America and doing my own thing and building and stuff like that. Um, overclocking would be about six years ago, seven years ago maybe. Um, um, from, from the AMD, Phenom, two days. So yeah, that's when that, that that's that's when I kind of got into overclocking, and since then it's just been hey, performance for free, go for it. The reason why I overclocked to start with was because I mean uh, I used to make music, and my computer just wasn't fast enough for me. So I just I just had to do something about it, and overclocking was it. I mean, it just <laughs> wow, there have been so many. T today being here in Taiwan, this is like the highlight of my. Well, you know, life so far. I've, I've been dreaming about meeting everybody here, and yeah, it feels awesome to you know be here. But there, there, there have been a few uh, breaking into the top 50 in the Extreme League. That was one which happened recently. So that was something that I was pretty proud about, and also breaking the top 100 overall. So that was something nice. Uh, so far from that, not, 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 not too many. Um, 8.2 gigahertz on the AMD chip. Uh, I, did, I did hold the world record for the 8350 when it came out. Uh, for two days maybe, that was for 8.18 gigahertz run. And that was it, yeah. And recently I hit 8.25 something, yeah. If you go back, um, I honestly think today, the technology and the hardware is a lot better, um, including you know the tools that we have at our disposal for overclocking pots and things and stuff like that. It's definitely better, but um, the downside has been, of course, Intel locking down their CPUs. No more, no more cheap, good, free fun. But um, yeah, things are, th th things are honestly moving in the right direction, I feel, because the performance is there. Um, the hardware is just getting better every year. So I think it's moving in the right direction. In good old days, yes. I mean, there was, you could overclock for a lot less, maybe, in terms of money earlier on. Today it costs a lot more, but yeah, I guess that's one of the side effects of interlocking their CPUs. Looking forward in the future, I'd like to see Intel come back to, you know, cheap overclock any CPU like the Q6600, the Core 2 Duo days. That would be, that would be lovely. Um, it's just, it's just about, I guess, um, Putting it out there, which is which is which is what we've been doing with all of our meets with Asius. We do um, I do these uh, with Asius. Uh, it's the overclockers gathering, or you can call it the power user gathering stuff like this, and that develops a good amount of interest. Uh, ever, ever since we started doing those meets, overclocking in India has taken off. There's there's, there's been a significant amount of new people joining the bot, and um, yeah, it's just I guess people are kind of scared about you know when they don't know or they think overclocking is like a black art or they probably blow their own equipment and things like this which is why they they don't really try at least in india this is what i've noticed on the forums they're just scared because a gear is expensive and hard to come by and they don't want to risk it so that's why they don't really overclock and that comes from again lack of knowledge the guys who've come to these meets who figured out how to overclock they go back and overclock and you know they have a great time so it's just about getting the knowledge out there. Price, for one, that would be because um, it's, 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 it's about... Um, equipment is, is expensive, at least in India. Um, we pay a lot more than the rest of the world does, almost 150%, 200% more at times. So, it's um, for, for, for India and for overclocking, it's just about cost, really. Um, if, 
if we can get hardware cheaper, which is taxation and structures in, in, in our country, that would go a very long way. That would go a very long way in removing quite a few bottlenecks. And if you look at internationally, it would be Intel again. Just unlock every CPU, please, <laughs> please. That would be that, that, that would be wonderful. I mean, what they did with the Pentium, unfortunately, it didn't work, but that was spectacular. More of this, please, please, guys. That was really, really nice. And, and for even guys like me, I mean, 3, 000, uh, for us, a Pentium is 3,000 rupees, or you can say about 60, 65 dollars. That's what the chip costs in India, so it wasn't very expensive. You could go out, have some cheap fun, you know, blow, blow, blow up a few, and not feel too bad about it. My advice to anybody who's starting right now would be just to read and you know just read the forums there's so much information out there right from how to clock each processor to each motherboard to how to prep motherboards for ln2 use and there's so many lovely guides even from roman and from um, kingpin wins and stuff there's so many guides kingpin's own forum is lovely um, elmer's forum is lovely Durbauer helps out roman helps out so much it's it's incredible so there's lots, of, there's lots of help and information out there. It's just about making the effort to find it. But make sure you find it before you start because otherwise you, you know, your gears, <laughs> it's your gear. So yeah, I'd say read up before you go, just read. It's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a dream of mine to come here. And every single year I see stuff go down at Computex and things like this. And you know, I curse myself sitting in Bombay. I'm like, I need to be there. And finally this year, I've actually had the time to make it. Um, I have my own company in Bombay, which makes computers. So that's been keeping me really, really busy. It started about four or five years ago, and now it's kind of self-sustaining. So we sell high-end workstations to Bollywood and to banking and things like this. Um, now it's standing on its feet. So I have the time that I can take off and I can travel.